Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Zeko Stretch here. In this video we're going to check out an update from uh, Chrono uh, Dreambox host. Uh, so let's jump right into this here. As you can see I don't have debug settings. The network should be enabled I think. Yeah it is enabled. <coughs> um, we'll just go ahead and close everything. I did uh, launch it up there. I was just checking around to see if anybody had any updates. Uh, so let's, uh, and I noticed that, that he had an update there from, uh, I think the last video we did was 1.19. The newest uh, update is 1.21. So maybe we'll have a little better luck with this one. I know previously I didn't have very much success rate, and uh, that's why I stopped using it altogether. But uh, I thought we'd just jump in and give it a try, see how well it works this time. Um, here it is here. So as you can see, it is 1.19 was the last one that we did use. Go ahead and click that. And if you look up here, it's 1.21. Uh, we're going to select English. And we'll just give it a moment to install the cache. So it works the same way as uh, Derek Modders. It looks like it's probably the same code, maybe. Just a different, uh, a different look to it. But we'll see what uh, what options I uh, I did check out this airport. I didn't actually get in to see what options were available, but uh, we'll do that together and we'll see what's there. So now the cache is uh, installed. We'll go ahead and hit the PlayStation button and we'll go and disable the internet. Uh, I think in the last video I'm pretty sure that we used uh, the playroom. So let's go ahead and use the playroom again this time. And we'll just see if uh, see how well it works. Okay, we'll open up our web browser. I don't think we'll need to turn off the controller because I think it uh, works the same way as Dark Modder. So we should be good with the uh, the drift error. Okay, so there's our first attempt, our first memory error. Okay, we'll give it a few more tries. It shouldn't take too long. I do realize, or uh, opening up the playroom, I find that it does take a little longer. Seems like it uses a lot of resources there to keep that going. Uh, I am using just a normal PS4. It's one of the first ones that they came out with, so it's not a, uh, a pro, but seems like we're going in now. Give it a few seconds. There we go. Okay, so it looks like we're in. Uh, we have the old jailbreak, the new jailbreak. We also have the auto up here. So we're going to go with uh, load new jailbreak. Perform a jailbreak. Wait. Kind of rude. Should be please wait, but... We'll give it a few seconds. Okay, so it was successful. Uh, we're going to go with Goal 10 1.1. Go ahead and launch that. Waiting for clients. This is my first attempt with this, and it did uh, actually come through pretty good. So we'll wait for that. Looks like everything is good. I can't recall if we get a message that pops up or not, but uh, let's just scroll down and see what uh, see what options are here. Um, so the Orbis toolbox is there as well. Uh, we can go ahead and just click it just to see if it, uh, see if it loads up. Okay, launch a payload. Okay, so it didn't launch the payload. Weird. Um, looks like, uh... Stuff is frozen, maybe? Let's hit our PlayStation button and exit out. Go over to settings. Uh, we don't have it. Let's see if we have debug settings. Okay, so we do have debug settings. I'm not sure why that didn't load. 
Um, let's go to debug settings. Game. Okay, everything seems to be working fine. Um, we can go ahead and close this here out now. Maybe that might have been a, a reason why it didn't load. So let's close that and go back in and just see if we can uh, get something to pop up there. Because it should have loaded, like it was launching the payload. The jailbreak is done. I'm not ex sure why it didn't load that. So Hopefully we can get in here without too many tries. Okay, it looks like we're going in on a third try there. Okay, and that's loading up fine. Okay, so now that we're back in here, uh, we'll go ahead and load the toolbox. Uh, let's just check to see what else is here. See if I can get one with uh, a nice host, just with just with the 1.1. 1 .1. Uh, I don't need any of this air stuff anymore. Uh, Orbis Toolbox, as well as WebRTE, and I think the GTA Lamance mod would probably be the best. So those four would keep me, that's the host that I'd like to see. As for this other stuff, uh, I don't really need it. So let's go ahead and hit the toolbox now and see if we can get it to load. Okay, waiting for clients. Launch and payload. Nothing happens. Doesn't seem like it's uh, loading it. Let's go ahead and jump over to. Uh, it locks up the web, the website. Uh, let's go back in one more time. We're just going to try the the web RTE, see if it loads that payload. It could be just something to do with the Orbis, maybe it didn't didn't go correctly. But we will see, or maybe it, it could be something to do with the jailbreak. Hopefully it doesn't take long. It seems like it's uh, it's taking a little longer each time it uh, tries to get in. Okay, looks like we're going in pretty quick. I've noticed that uh, each time we do go in, it doesn't really take all that long. Like it's under five tries, and we're we're in. It's around three, so it's pretty good. You guys might have better success or maybe worse let me know in the comments below okay so let's go ahead and just try web rte and see if that one loads we do know the jailbreak is wanting to to get it so it's just not sending it okay so that there one's fine it's probably just something with the toolbox beta maybe the bin didn't download uh, but yeah uh, I would imagine they will be working on that to try to fix it. And hopefully they, they do get it working. But that's pretty much it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.